But everything changed when he came back home to New York in 1983. We're going to take a look back at that chapter of Regis's story. And as a special surprise, we're going to do it with a little help from his old friend, Alan Alda. Take oh, a look. Oh, look, Alan Alda. How nice. Behind me, you can probably see the Hollywood sign that hovers over all of uh, Los Angeles. Anyway, this is my street with the palm trees and the front lawns and everything. It's a lovely street and uh, been here for five years. Got to go back to Manhattan. This is not Columbus Avenue, I'm telling you. The year was 1983, and Regis left Los Angeles to host the morning show at WABC-TV's Columbus Avenue studio in New York City. It was a big move, and for Regis, it was a real gamble. Welcome to the beginning of a brand new show here on WABC-TV Channel 7. It's called The Morning Show. Regis knew Cindy Garvey from their days at AM Los Angeles, so it didn't take long before he felt right at home. You're from TV, right? Yeah. yeah. Your name is uh, Regis, right? Exactly. Oh. What's my last name? I don't know. You got the pretty girl next to you that... What's her name? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You got the bleeding? I see the bleeding. All right. Turn it on. Oh, I see. Okay, it's like a vibrator. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it vibrates, doesn't it? The vibrator, I mean, it vibrates. Well, it does. It vibrates. Did you say a vibrator, I... Joy? We also got to know Regis's wife, Joy, and their daughters, Joanna and JJ. When the morning show celebrated its first anniversary, a kidney stone prevented Regis from doing the show in the studio. So he did it from his sofa. I just wanted to say to the people of New York, uh, thank you very much for proving to me that, yes, indeed, you can come home again. Later that year, Regis got a new co-host. And here she is, Ann Abernathy. Thank you. Thank you. Here's an old staff photo. Does this 24-year-old production assistant look familiar to you? His name is Michael Gelman. Everyone in the tri-state area was watching when Regis got his next co-host. And here comes Kathy Lee Johnson. Is this the way it's going to be every morning? Yes. Yes, it is. Kathy Lee married gridiron great Frank Gifford, but a lot of people thought that Regis and Kathy Lee were really married to each other. By the way, I haven't asked you in a while. How are your hemorrhoids? Are you all right? <laughs> Barbara Walters both sent us beautiful, beautiful bouquets of flowers Lovely. yesterday. As thank a classy you, lady that she, she is, really and we is. thank her. And she says that, you know, if she had to lose her virginity, she wishes it had been with you. The morning show was such a fan favorite that it went national. And now it was called Live with Regis and Kathy Lee, and America spent their mornings with them. It's Monday, September 5th, 1988. Hi, Kathy Lee. How are you? And the Good. beginning of a brand new uh, talk show across America. And Regis's signature host chat became the most talked about 15 minutes of television. You know what it is to leave your car keys in your car in New York City overnight? <laughs> the stupid. Thank God it's Labor Day. The mothers, <laughs> the mothers are all sleeping. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's possible for anything to happen on live TV, and with Regis, it happens. He could, he won't, he's, there goes Speedy. Wait, 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 the U.S. president appeared on Laughing as Richard Nixon. That's my final answer. He's won a million dollars! He had another phenomenal success, but he didn't give up his day job. She's out of control! Please. He had a lot of fun. We all did. But big changes were ahead for Regis. I'm announcing today that I'm going to be leaving our show. Oh, I was hoping you'd do that. When Kathy Lee left live, Regis never slowed down for a moment. The show became live with Regis, and he kept on going with a parade of talented guest co-hosts. And after an extensive search, Regis teamed with the perfect new co-host, the beautiful and pregnant All My Children star, Kelly Ripa. My whole wedding cost me $200, including airfare. <laughs> Did you get married to Vegas? We did. We eloped to Vegas. Did you really? We I didn't did. know that. Yes, we 
Big spender, that big spender husband. They said, bride, you want plastic flowers? He said, no, the bride doesn't require flowers. Regis and Kelly made the perfect pair, and ratings continued to soar. That same year, Regis won two Emmy Awards, one for Live and the other for Millionaire. Two Emmys, listen to this, but it only took 40 years. <laughs> Give me a little kiss. <laughs> Regis makes his job look easy, and so does Kelly. What a lark! I never realized this, but you're a very handsome man. <laughs> Everyone loves it when Regis and Kelly dress up for Halloween, especially Kelly. Oh, hey, Bob, and I'm really Kid Rockin'. Let's take a look at Pamela Anderson here. <laughs> This surprise visit to a Staten Island mom was one of Regis's favorites. Regis Philbin is here to see Elsie. Oh, God almighty! Yes, Elsie, it's me. Oh, my God. I know, you look great, Elsie. Oh, oh, come here a minute. I want to talk to you. I want to talk... Oh, huh? oh God. I'm in my nightgown. I know, Elsie. You look ravishing. Oh, God. <laughs> Elsie, come on up. I just an egg. <laughs> Even Brad Pitt has a Regis connection. My mom is a very big fan. That's yeah. right. He came up and he said, my mother's a big fan. And maybe we take a picture together. I, I said, Brad, not now. Don't bother me now. <laughs> Please welcome Alan Alda. Regis and I are neighbors, and he's always making fun of me when he catches me in the morning getting our newspapers. This time I was ready for him. Forgot to pick this up this morning. You left it in the hallway. Good morning. <gasps> Patricia. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning, good morning. Patricia. Regis and Kelly here. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Patricia. Can you hear me? Patricia? Good morning. Good morning. What is this, a recording, gentlemen? Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I know she can't hear us. I can hear you. I haven't seen you in a while, Sharon. Last time you were here was, what, 1999? Yeah. Eleven years ago. Right. Have you missed me at all? <laughs> you know, this is the thing. I, I found out around that time that you like uh, raisins in your stuffing. I, yeah. Exactly. Deal breaker for me, I couldn't come back. That's right. <laughs> now... Here are Emmy Award-winning talk show hosts, Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa. Regis and Kelly won this year's Daytime Emmy Award for Best Talk Show Hosts. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bronx is on. Regis Philbin. Remember that gamble Regis took in 1983? I think it paid off for all of us. We thank you, Regis, for taking that chance. You mean more to us than you'll ever know.